evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Puller. And I'm Amelia Marquez. Tonight we're going to focus on some of the top stories we highlighted this year. Hope you enjoy. It's football time in Tennessee and nobody tackles the competition like the Russell Barnett Automotive family. With six different locations, eight new car franchises, over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, a certified collision center with lifetime paint guarantee, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental. Let our family exceed your expectations at the Russell Barnett Automotive family. And remember, why buy anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Three Tullahoma police officers were recognized for their exemplary service in rescuing a local woman from a fire recently. Uh, but it's an honor as a chief to get to recognize officers when they do a good job. Uh, uh, we know that oftentimes we, we don't always get to recognize them for what they have to endure. Um, but this is one of those opportunities where publicly I can tell them thank you in the presence of their families, the, uh, the elected officials of the city, and our, our viewing audience for, for what they've done. Uh, and these are acts of courage. Um, what I want to do tonight is present a certificate for our Police Commendation Award. It's not an award that's taken lightly. It's not an award we give lightly. It goes through a process of a recommendation, a review by a committee, and then we investigate it through outside sources to validate what occurred and then we uh, come before this board and, and do a public presentation. Uh, what we're talking about here tonight are actions of three of our officers where they entered a smoke-filled apartment and took the unconscious occupant out. Um, I'm, I'll go into a little bit more about it, but one of the key elements to presenting this was Chief Chastain's recommendation and I'd like to give him just a moment to kind of uh, discuss this from the fire perspective. Uh, this this uh, incident actually started with a simple 911 call uh, from a neighbor. Uh, which we are so glad when people are not afraid to get involved. Uh, and this neighbor uh, heard a smoke alarm going off, actually smelt a little smoke. It was in a multifamily dwelling. Uh, she made the 911 call. Police officers were in the area patrolling. It was at night and uh, they arrived first. Uh, made entry, forcible entry through the front, uh, retrieved the lady that was not aware that there was a fire in her apartment. Uh, they had her outside when the fire department arrived and our firefighters were able to uh, extinguish the fire. Uh, it was a great, uh, a great outcome. Uh, sometimes that's not the case. Uh, so we uh, really encourage people, if they see something out of the ordinary, get involved, let us know what's going on. Uh, and I'd like to personally thank the officers as well uh, they, they reduced the risk that my firefighters had to take. Uh, we're three to five minutes out, usually, and uh, the fire doubles in size about every 30 seconds. So, you know, we don't really know what the situation would have been had they not made entry and, and retrieved her. So I, I made the recommendation to Chief Blackwell that uh, these guys did a great job. We're fortunate to have such a good working team. Uh, the communication center dispatched us at the same time they dispatched the police department. and. Uh, made this a great outcome. So I just wanted to thank them, thank Chief Blackwell for recognizing them, uh, well deserved. So at this point I'd like to introduce to you Sergeant Chase Sun. Chase come on up here, Officer Jason Maloney and Officer Jameson Wells. If y'all would come on up here. All the certificates read the same but it says for exemplary service the City of Tullahoma, Tennessee and the Tullahoma Police Department present this commendation ribbon to Sergeant Chase Sons, Officer Jameson Wells, and Officer Jason Maloney, your actions on September 9, 2017 demonstrated selfless service and disregard for your own safety as yourself and other officers 
entered a smoke-filled apartment to remove a sleeping occupant, unaware of the impending smoke danger. You and other officers entered the apartment a second time to search for other family members that, unknown to you, were not there. You are commended for your actions and responding in an exemplary m manner. You are to be congratulated for a job well done. Given this 13th day of November, 2017, signed by myself and Mayor Lane Curley. And also along with that, they'll be getting the ribbon, the Commendation Award ribbon, so they can, they can wear it on their formal uniform so that all can see and all can ask them what that is for. Officer Jamison Wells, congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back in a moment. I have 30 seconds to tell you about RussellBarnett.com. We're going to find over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get your trade appraised at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get financing done at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get collision repair assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get auto rental assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We are the one-stop shop, one click away. Why click anywhere else? Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. Channel 4's Chief Meteorologist Lisa Spencer dropped by D.W. Wilson last Friday for this month's Lunch and Learn. We listened in while she spoke about tornadoes in Middle Tennessee. April 2009 was the Memphis Tornado. That's the picture I showed you a second ago. And that was an EF4 tornado. Now let's talk about what that scale is. That is the Fujita scale. That's what the F stands for, is Fujita. And that's Dr. Fujita who came up with this scale. The E stands for Enhanced several years ago some more research was done on that scale using our better building uh, abilities than we had years ago and what you're doing is it's a wind scale so you're trying to determine what kind of damage this particular tornado would do in terms of wind and so that's why they changed the scale a little bit because the way we build has changed um, so zero is the lowest on that scale five is the highest so an EF4 is an incredibly <coughs> powerful storm. We were fortunate that day that there were not more deaths than there were. Uh, does anybody remember this storm? Remember that? There were two deaths, a mom and a baby. And it was just heart-wrenching because they were doing really all the things that we tell people to do. It was just the storm was so violent that they just, um, it, their home couldn't withstand the wind. The highest tornado we've ever had that we know about in Middle Tennessee was an F5 in April of 1998, and that was in southern Middle Tennessee, uh, specifically over in the Lawrenceburg area in Lawrence County. Did hear it hit a lot of rural areas there, and this particular storm on that day did not get the fanfare, so to speak, because that was the same day as someone something else. Do you remember what that was? The Nashville tornado. So the Nashville tornado got all the attention because of the fact that it was affecting so many more people. And all these little red dots are representative of tornadoes that have occurred. So if you don't want to be in a tornado, you can get up here in the Appalachian Mountain chain, you can head out west, maybe go to California. But let me tell you, Every area has its own natural disaster. So, you know, there's always something you have to watch out for there. 
uh, something that will be menacing weather-wise in one time or another. So we just happen to be over here with tornadoes. And but out here in the Plain States, that's what we call Tornado Alley. We have a designation here in the Mid-South, which really covers all this area. And this kind of clips us here in Middle Tennessee of being Killer Tornado Alley, because we have more deaths per tornadoes than they do in the Plain States. And that's for a couple of reasons. We're more densely populated than they are in the Plains. And also, they are so accustomed to tornadoes that their response is a little bit, I think, better than our response here in Middle Tennessee. And also, um, I think you have to take into consideration that, I don't know if they have, they just have more than we do. And I think that's why they're a little more too. Plus, they can see them coming miles away. Our tornadoes tend to be rain wrapped, and also we have rolling hills and vegetation that make it hard to see tornadoes wrap out the plains. You know, you've seen those videos, the storm takers out there. You can see them from miles away. They look like they're really close, but they're zooming in their camera lens because I want to get that close up view. Here's the path that tornadoes normally take, and you can see a general trend here is from southwest to northeast. So there are always exceptions to the rules. But this, I just grabbed this clip from our earlier uh, storms that we had on March the 1st, and we had, here's a tornado path right here in the green, and then we had all these downburst winds that were associated with that as well. So you can see where they've got the EF1 right here. Those were all EF1 tornadoes that were reported from Williamson County. There's another over in the burn. Kind of skipped across with Watertown had one. But you can see down here, southern part of the county, we had some downburst winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour. And we had a lot of reports of damage that day. So after the National Weather Service went out for a survey, they found it to be straight line wind damage, not just tornado damage. But uh, that just shows you again that example of how the storm tends to move from the southwest to the northeast, even in this most recent event that we had here. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Chevy Ford and Ram, man. Russell's got your truck. With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family, and man, do we ever have your truck. Four brands, hundreds to choose from, all at year-end discounted prices. So with so much to choose from, my question is, why buy your next truck anywhere else? Russell's got your truck, man. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. The new Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce president is Ken Keller. Ken spoke to the members of the chamber at their recent annual meeting held at the Tullahoma Business Center. <laughs> well, I'm definitely energized. I tell you, I, I don't know if it was that THS jazz band or this radio action jacket. <laughs> I kind of feel like a uh, electro uh, on Spider Man in Spider Man series. <laughs> What, what a great time to be a Tullahomean. Um, Tullahoma is a city and a people that's unique as its name. And I often find myself reminiscing of, of childhood memories growing up here. Uh, living in a, in a small home at, at Bel Air Drive where I, where I grew up. And Michelle will tell you, sometimes I, I purposely, when I'm in the neighborhood, I'll go out of my way to drive by my old house, and it just helps me to uh, relive my mind flashes 
uh, really to some of the summers and the few times I had with my cousins and, 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 and my brother in the, in the 1970s. You know, we often walked a mile to the old Cedar Lane markets and we took glass Coke bottles down there and we traded them for candy with Mr. Mr. Hobbs. We, we shot basketball at the, at the old community center for hours a week under the watchful eye of Joe Moon. Mom took my brother and I to the swimming pool during summers for, by the old Lanham uh, Library for a dollar where we swim on hot summer days. And I really remember the, the pool breaks uh, that we would have. I, I remember a red-haired teenage lifeguard there named Lane that would blow the whistle. And, yeah, a long time ago, 1974. And he would take trips, you know, to the concession stand during, um, during our, our pool breaks. And, and songs over the radio would be blaring like, Billy Don't Be a Hero and Terry Jack's 1974 single, Seasons in the Sun. So certainly we had joy and we had fun. Telahoma is a great place to grow up. Telahoma is also a great place to go to school. I remember my principal and my elementary school teachers at Bel Air, every one of them. And it was, it, it was really a pleasure in my heart to see my fifth grade teacher, Miss Mary Harmon, who is my, first, my favorite teacher of all time. I tell you all the time. reasons that she was my favorite teacher is, and this, this is a, this is the gospel truth, you can go talk to her about it, is when I was in sixth grade, Miss Mitchell sent me out in the hall just about every third day. And she would come out in the hall, she'd start patting me on the back and say, oh honey, it's okay, you can't learn anything in the hall, come into my class. So I did. And so, uh, that, that's, true, that's a true I started dating a former Miss Motlow. She's here on the front row tonight. Who would not have anything to do with me in high school. Anything. Max Christopher, you was in our art class. I think you remember that. So, uh, but without her support, love, and encouragement, I would not be here tonight. Telehoma is a great place to grow up. Telehoma is a great place to go to school. Telehome is also a great place to make a living and start a business. And last year, we, we also had over 100 new businesses uh, come to Telehome. So Telehome is a great place to make a living in, but it's also a great place to make a life. And there's a difference. Telehome was named the number two city in Middle Tennessee for quality of life. Our police and fire departments keep us safe. You know, thank you, uh, uh, Chief Blackwell and, and, and Chief Shastain, you know, and your teams. So, Lane reaches into his coat pocket, and, you know, I, I didn't know if this thing was real or not, and, and he's talking to this, this gentleman that he just met that night, and, 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 he, and he writes out a card and gives it to this gentleman there at that Arnold Community Council. And so I was very intrigued, and, and I said, can I, can I see that card? And sure enough, he wrote, always do your best on that card. And so I wanted the card. So I, I told Lane, I said, Lane, I, I would like to have one of your merit cards. And, and he politely obliged. Matter of fact, I, I've got it with me in my pocket tonight. And, and you can see it later. And so with, with the first lady, Evelyn, standing beside us, he penned these words. Ken, get out of jail free. <laughs> Workers with CSX Railroad scrambled this morning to secure a cargo holder which was precariously sitting on the side of a rail car into the lane of oncoming trains. John Gray was there and brings us this story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is John Gray reporting for Channel 6 News. We are over on uh, Atlantic Street, right past the underpass at the railroad, and there is a car that has a container on it that is about to fall off into the railroad tracks over here. Uh, we have two wreckers out here and a backhoe trying to uh, get this car, this uh, container back up on the car. Uh, what I was told by Davin 
Heikeman at Paintworks is that another train had come along and seen that car in the situation that it's in about ready to fall off the the uh, the container about ready to fall off the car into the ongoing track and reported that uh, into the railroad and they have people out here dealing with it right now so as you can see there are two two wreckers out here that have have their uh, booms out on this container uh, trying to get it pulled back up on top of the car this is uh, Thursday morning yeah they have these wreckers here tied on and uh, they're trying to they're going to pull that car back up or the container back up onto the car and we have several uh, railroad folks out here of course and they're trying to do their job and keep things safe and sound out here and uh, they're fixing the problem right here with these wreckers so uh, uh, possibly a big accident that could have happened has been averted uh, by one of the train engineers coming through seeing this car uh, seeing this container about to fall off of, off of the car on the side track and the railroad is here fixing the situation at uh, CSX so uh, congratulations for them for uh, taking care of a disaster before it happens. News Leader on 6 reporting to you from Atlantic Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee. I think the railroad has it under control. We'll be back in a moment after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. A Tullahoma woman was a recent contestant on the popular television show Jeopardy. Let's watch as she speaks to the Tullahoma Board of Mayor and Alderman about the experience. About 10 days or two weeks or so ago, um, anyone that knows the, the Curley family, Evelyn and myself, know that uh, she is the brightest one of our family. No one's ever challenged that. And so she likes to watch Jeopardy. So I record Jeopardy and whenever I get home in the evening, we turn on Jeopardy and we watch Jeopardy. It's quite frustrating for me, but she enjoys it. And so I'm sitting in my lazy boy chair about 10 days or so ago and I'm doing something else and the, the, uh, the person is introducing the contestants on Jeopardy. And the first one they introduce is a young lady and they say, Tullahoma, Tennessee. And I said to Elvin, what did he say? I think she said, I think he said Tullahoma. So we rerounded a little bit, and sure enough, a young lady was from Tullahoma and continued to do an excellent job. Well, anyway, that young lady is with us tonight, and she's on the front row right there in that pretty pink dress. So, Ms. Hansen, let me ask you to step. This is Morgan Hansen. Step to the podium and just t tell us just a, a little bit about your Jeopardy experience. Hi. Welcome, first of all. Good to see you. So, uh, my husband, <coughs> Stewart, we both love trivia. I love knowing a lot about nothing. And so we watch trivia every evening, or we play trivia. And so we started watching Jeopardy. And so they have an online test that they do one, or twice a year. And so I tried it once, never heard back. Thought, oh, we'll just try this again. So January of this year, I took the test, waited, thought I did pretty well. Sometimes I get categories that really work for me working on a PhD in English, and so anything with art, history, I can do fairly well when it comes to other subjects I might be able to do all right on. And so in, at the end of April, I find out that I get to do an in-person audition. And so I go to Nashville. They do about, I think, six to eight locations a week per, per audition. 
the time, and Nashville was one of those locations. So in May, I went and I auditioned, and they said, you know, you have to be smart to do this, so we take a test while we're there. And fortunately, a lot of those categories were good for me, too. And then they said, this is a TV show, so we need personality. And I thought, no. <laughs> I can do that. Just there are much very anxious introverts there. And so I did it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. But I guess when you want to be a ham and a diva, and <laughs> your personality shy. And so the interview went really well. And a month later, they called me and they said, hey, you want to come do this? And I said, sure, why not? So in August, I went and I taped um, an episode of Jeopardy. I met really great people there. And it aired October 30th. And I got third place on Jeopardy. Congrats to me, I lost. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun, and the people there were really great, and I couldn't have done it without the support of my Tullahoma friends. Thank you. So you are a, well, tell us about your education. You're a fifth year student. Yes, I'm a fifth year PhD student at MTSU. I'm currently writing a dissertation right now. I never know when the muse is going to hit. Sometimes she hits and things are really good, and sometimes I stall out. But I plan to graduate in May 2018. And I was educated, or I got my bachelor's and master's degrees at Tennessee Tech. So state education. Made it to Jeopardy. Good job, Tennessee oh, State. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what is the name of your dissertation? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you the first part of it. I forgot to research this today while writing. I'm looking at negotiating pedagogical practices, and I'm using threshold concepts of writing studies to help with faculty professional development to unify a department. English. Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has proudly served your auto rental for over 30 years. Check out this huge selection to choose from. Small car, mid-size car, full-size car, crossover vehicle, SUV, minivan, pickup trucks, 12 and 15 passenger vans. Whether big or small, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has them all. Stop by our two locations to serve you, Tullahoma and in Winchester. And remember, my question is, why rent? anywhere else. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for news later on 6. You have a good evening. And from all of us, the Newsletter 6 wishes you and your families a fantastic weekend. Thank you. Mm -hmm.